Hey there, Sharon horn here. Welcome to day 1745 of What You Up To Now, Documented Journey as I transition from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. And our idiom, our expression today for Supersize Your Business was to surround someone, something, yourself, you, with someone, something, etc. So it's the whole topic of, it means, you know, to group people around us on all sides, to surround something, right? We surround our enemies. We when we're in a war or a battle. But the topic in the, the point for the annual challenge then is, who are the people we surround ourselves with? I meant to look up the who gets credit for the for five people you spend the most time with saying, because that is an example of this, as is, you know, don't surround yourself only with people that agree with you all the time, right? We all know leaders and business owners and businesses that surround themselves only with yes people. What happens to those businesses? They don't really last very long. Now. I'm sharing this unable, which is why I asked that in the question. I'm not going to say it, but well, I have said it on the other videos, so I might as well say it on this one. Unfuck with a bull. This is a ring my daughter got when she went out to a management training with uh, the company she worked for at the time, Burton Snowboarding uh, and Burton Snowboards. The company Burton, great family health organization, incredible culture, and the leadership team adopted this, we are unfuck with a bull, and they made up the word and they put it on brass knuckles and they gave each of the managers at the manager training a ring, a, a two part mini brass knuckle reminder of staying true to yourself, staying true to our core values and mission and principles and purpose and the importance of doing that, which was this, why they symbolized and created this was part of the training where they talked about this is who we are and together we are unfuckwithable. And I love that, wish I would have thought of it. For my businesses, we use rocks and we use soap. I might go to round soap though, because I like the, the circle and the round and the team and the strength that comes in a circle. But uh, it's, it's a great example in so many ways. It reminds us that who we surround ourselves is import, with is important. What we listen to, what we read, what we think about, it all impacts our results, our outcomes, the things that we get in our life. When we other people, as much as we try to not let other people and other things influence they, us, they absolutely positively do. I notice that if I'm watching something on Netflix or on one of the other streaming services, one of the first things I'll be thinking about in the morning is the characters in that show. And I'm like, do I really want fictitious, made up characters that someone else, it's like if I've read a book right before I go to bed, I'll wake up thinking about that book. Well, I want to be careful about the books and the shows and the movies and the people and the media and the things I let into my brain because what goes in inadvertently comes out. My daughter likes to remind me that when I've been hanging around with my family and my sisters a lot, I tend to be a much poorer communication or especially with respect to listening because we're one of those families that talk over each other and, and we half listen and finish each other's sentences and it's super duper irritating for other people, even though it's, it's, feels interesting when we're doing it. Sometimes we irritate ourselves, right? When we're doing it to one another, but we all do it. And when I've been hanging around with them more often, which I was, cause I was helping my sister move and my mom moved this summer. I adopt those tendencies and I exhibit those behaviors a lot more often, which is super irritating to myself, my daughter and everyone around me. But it's important who we surround ourselves with, who we physically surround ourselves with. And boy, we sure all learned lessons from COVID with respect to that. If you, had and and here's the interesting thing and people uh, want to blame COVID for all these things but the truth is it really was just an accelerator if you were were in a bad relationship prior to COVID and all of a sudden you are stuck together with these same people that you're in a bad relationship with and nothing changes and you don't purposely try to change and make that better guess what those relationships blew up during the pandemic right but Chances are they would have blown up over time anyway. I, I think of my marriage and if we had been confined to the four of us, what impact that would have had on my family. It would have had probably the same end result. It just would have happened more quickly. You know, the things and the experiences we have don't change us necessarily. They just show us who we already are. And if we don't like what we see, then it's up to us to change that. Nobody else can change it for us. I firmly believe that any one of us can become and change and accept an identity, any identity we want at any time. It's just up to us to make that decision and choice. And it'd be neat if we could do it for other people, but 
we can't. We can only do it for ourselves. So we take responsibility for ourselves and hold other people accountable to taking responsibility for themselves. So that's what we're talking about today. Surround yourself with who you surround yourself with, why it's important, and just every once in a while, stopping and taking a snapshot of, hey, right now, today, who am I spending most of my time with physically? Who am I listening to, paying attention to most? What am I listening to? Am I listening to podcasts, books on, I don't know if they don't call them tape anymore, but audio books and things that feed my brain and make me move toward what it is that I want or help me to become who it is that I want to be ultimately? Or am I just randomly picking things? Now, I went through a phase where I was just randomly picking things on Netflix when I first lost my, was losing my vision and I was super frustrated by that. I would just randomly pick things. Following my sudden cardiac arrest, I was for some reason attracted to scary things. Scary things, horror movies, death and destruction and things. And I think it's because prior to that event, I, I couldn't watch those things. They really bothered me and I never participated, never watched them. And so it was like I was testing myself and my new limits after that event. So who do you surround yourself with? Think about that today. If you're brave, share in the comments below. I think it's important that we share, hey, yes, I'm hanging out with the five possible best people for me right now. Knowing that that's going to change over time, right? As we change and grow and develop and become a better version of ourselves, we attract a different group of people around us. Some of the people are the people that have come up with us and have, have been with us all along. And some people will choose to self-select and not be part of our lives anymore. And guess what? Sometimes that's painful, but it's absolutely as it should be, right? People come in and out of our life for a reason and for a season. And once that reason or season is up, then they they go in different directions, as do we. All right. If I can help you anyway, ask the boys. I'm going to borrow my daughter's brass knuckles today and be unfuckable. All right. Have a great day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye.